Hello! You are doing dishes with Michelle. I know it's been another minute since I've uh, dressed to do some dishes with y'all, but I was just feeling so pink today, I don't know why. So I figured I might as well do some dishes. As you know, dishes never stop around here. Ohio if you want to come and help me do dishes or make any other movies you'd like to make. I can host and I love to have visitors to come help me make videos. So today I just decided I needed to wear a tutu. I used to always go for What's well, one of my favorite combinations? So it's like a corset and a tutu. And I just was like, I gotta wear a tutu. I don't wear a tutu anything forever. And uh, actually, I just had two different tutus. And we were just deciding between which one looked better. I think it looks better because of the shoes and the hair. So I went with the darker one. Tutus for Michelle. Tutus for Michelle. Sure. You'd like to buy me a tutu? No, I got all the colors of the rainbow already. But, um, you have an Amazon wish list below if you, I'll just put the link below if you want to send me something pretty to wear. I love to wear whatever you guys send me, as you know. I might even do a laundry video. We have a load of laundry ready to go, so look for a laundry with Michelle video if you don't get too hot and stop making videos quick. It's very hot today. Well, summer's here. And you know, I use being cold as an excuse not to dress. But then I always be too hot as an excuse not to dress, so it's kind of. Uh, you got a million. The spring, I guess, is the best. I couldn't have any French toast today. I was out of milk. Isn't that sad? I really wanted some French toast this morning. French toast for a French slut. Dishes with Michelle. Dishes with Michelle. I want to talk about shrinkflation. Guess who has shrunk the latest thing? Look at your toilet paper rolls. And now look at your, uh, what do you call them? These things. Uh, 
Paper towels. They just shrunk your paper towels. They're now shorter than they used to be. These corporations, they are greedy little bastards, and they will suck us dry any way they can. So, last time that happened, Charmin did it to their toilet paper. So, you know what we did? We went out, we bought a bidet, and I haven't bought toilet paper since. So, screw them bastards. Now, I'm going to think of an alternative for my paper towels. I think I'm just going to buy a big stack of fluffy, beautiful towels to use and wash them in the wash machine because I am sick of what they cost and now they're like, you know, half inch, whatever, but it's just the point of it. It's they're sucking us dry and we can't stand for it as consumers. If we let them get away with it and let them get away with it, they're just going to keep sucking us dry until we're just sucked dry. And I am personally sucked dry myself. Um, Gone are the days where a man can have a family and raise a family by himself. They need two incomes because they're so greedy. Corporations are making record profits while they're cutting us to the bone. It's ridiculous. It should be illegal. And that's socialism. So, you know. So, if we want capitalism to work, you as the consumer, you and I, have to not let them get away with this shit. Yes, we are. Everybody lets them get away with it. They can do what they want. They can shrink our shit, and you guys, we still buy it. So, unless we do something to punish them, it's not going to stop. And I am, I swear, I'm not buying paper towels anymore. I'm going to go out, next time I go to the store, I'm going to look for... I'm going to invest in a bunch, like I invested in the bidet, it cost me $99 for that bidet. It's paid for itself within three months of not buying toilet paper at $30 a package of toilet paper. So, I haven't bought toilet paper in a year. So, <laughs> well, they only hurt themselves, but the problem is, is one person, just me alone, cannot do it. We need you as an army of consumers to do it. So, I implore you, please go out and buy a bidet and stop using toilet paper. Not for no other reason to punish these corporations. She's with you, Cheryl. So yeah, that's my rant. You gotta have a rant once in a while. This rant wasn't an angry rant. <laughs> it just amazes me how greedy the corporations are. It's like, you know, I wouldn't understand if you're not making profits and you need to cut somewhere or, or whatever, but it's not any of that. It's just, they're just greedy. <laughs> They think you're a fool. As a consumer, they think you're a fucking idiot. And we are. We're an idiot for letting them get away with it. Hey, if nothing else, get on the website, send an email, and tell them you know they shrunk their toilet paper. You know they shrunk their, their paper towels. And you don't like it. And tell them you don't like it. At least if maybe enough people tell them, maybe they'll stop. But yeah, I doubt it. The thing about it, the person who looks at our email and we bitch at is just some lowly employee like us that are struggling. It's the rich fat cats at the top that are just reaping in the profits from the shareholders that are inking out every inch from the consumer and there's nothing you can do about it. it sucks. Quite up. Look at this can of tuna. This can of tuna is small as fuck. It's only four ounces. <laughs> Shit. When I was a kid, my mom used to make four or five sandwiches out of a can of tuna. Now you're lucky if you get two. I get one good sandwich out of it. It's bullshit, man. Everybody thinks we're idiots. with me, 
So that's my rant. Please, um, write, if you notice shrinkflation, write to them. Bitch about it. Because if nobody's bitching about it, nobody's doing anything about it, they're not, they're going to keep doing it. At least if you catch them and you point it out, it might stop them or at least slow them down. And like me, maybe if you stop buying their product, they'll change their ways. You know, that's what's really going to get them, is people like me. I swear to God, buy every day. Stop buying toilet paper. Stop buying toilet paper. I'll teach them. Okay, dishes. Dishes with the shell. in a dishwasher it'll ruin them and it's not the not only the abrasive soap but it's the heat cycle will ruin the timber uh, I've heard excuse me and it sucks because I have run to the dishwasher before so I'm sure mine are already ruining that of course that's just something I heard don't verify I can't verify that to be true I'm pretty sure I was told or read that the temper in your eyes is the reason you shouldn't put them in the dishwasher. I always thought it was because of the abrasive washing ruins the um, sharpness of them. But now I heard it was because of the heat cycles. La 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 la. Dishes with Michelle. That's full of grease. We're going to dump that in a jar. Take care of that in a while. Yes, we will. Clean up this dirty house because we're a dirty girl. And we really deserve a spanking for being such a dirty girl. Mm. 